All right. Hello, everybody. So the next, um, so you've done some writing um, and hopefully you picked the piece that you want to take into digital story. So what do you do next? I'm going to put this link in the week 14 folder. It just tells you a little bit about um, digital stories. But if you scroll down here, specifically to this white part right here, it says, what is a digital story? It explains a little bit more what it is. And then the process of creating a digital story. So you've got your whatever you wrote, whether that's something that you wrote, like wrote, hand wrote, or if it's something that you typed, it doesn't matter because I'm not even gonna see what you did. So maybe it's something you, it's not really, but um, it's a bad example, but um, boop, something you typed could be something you wrote. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna think, how am I gonna turn that into a digital story? One thing that I like, um, that they give you right here is um, a template for a storyboard. Storyboarding is kind of the next step to take a written story into a digital story. And if you click in that link, you're gonna get come over here to this screen and she gives you a bunch of different um, story maps. So this is a very simple one. Um, and then she gives you a couple of different, um, a, a little bit more complex ones. You can also just Google uh, story maps for digital stories. So that could be, you know, you just go to Google and say, uh, it's template for digital stories. If I just put that in there. Um, my guess is if you spell that right, um, and you went to images, you could see kind of that you'll find some good templates. Um, Actually, these are bad templates, but um, nevertheless, basically what it is, is you're trying to think about how to take written, my written text into a digital story. What images am I going to need? So you're going to want to kind of collect those images. So let's say I wrote about the Boston Red Sox. Maybe that first image, you can't see that very well, is the ball, uh, the picture that I actually took. Then I wrote about my Nana. So that would be my second image about my Nana and I would find a picture of my Nana. And then I think, okay, what are the other images and how am I gonna wanna organize it? And then also think, what am I gonna say around each one of these images? One thing I like about this um, website here is they give you a lot of different ways to create your digital stories. So um, I know some of these, some I don't know. For example, I know Animoto very well. It's really, really simple. Uh, you can get a free account, although it does have the watermark that says Animoto on there. I know Storybird. Um, that's a super easy one. Little Bird Tales is another one. iMovie is what I typically use, but you could even go low tech and do a uh, PowerPoint and then just voice narrate your PowerPoint. So there are many different ways that you can kind of create that digital story. So hopefully this resource will help. Um, and again, it'll be in the week 14 folder. Um, and um, please let me know if you have any questions.